Good morning. I just want to tell you before I read a poem that it is a true honor to be here with you, to be here with loved ones, and what I often feel when I am in a room with a patient is the great love and the sacredness that comes from God and from the love of that patient and from something that we're reminded of in the Bible, that when we love God, we are surrounded by the saints of our own ancestry and by a great cloud of witnesses. So it is an honor to be with you all in that great cloud of witnesses we hold in our hearts. The psalm, it's a poem I'm going to read to you. It's called A Psalm for the Dying. I have gone before you, but my last breath did not say goodbye. For my love for you is truly timeless. I leave myself to your memory with love. I leave my thoughts, my laughter, and dreams to you whom I have treasured beyond gold and precious gems. I give you what no thief can steal, the memories of our times together, the tender, love-filled moments, the successes we have shared, the hard times that brought us close together, and the roads we have walked side by side. I also leave you the solemn promise. Now that I am home in the heart of God, I will be present whenever and wherever you call me. My energy will be drawn to you by the magnet of our love. Whenever you are in need, call me. I will come to you with my arms full of wisdom and light to open up your blocked paths, to untangle your knots, and to be your avenue to God. And all I take with me as I leave is your love and the memories of all that we have shared. So I truly enter my new life rich. Fear not, nor grieve at my departure, you whom I have loved so much, for my roots and yours are forever intertwined. Amen. Father of us all, in the depth of our silent reverence, we realize the truth of the inspired words. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. As comrade after comrade departs, we march on, on with our ranks growing thinner. Help us to be faithful unto thee and to one another. Look in mercy on the widows and children of our departed comrades. We beseech thee, and with thine own tenderness, console and comfort those who are bereaved. Heavenly Father, bless our country with freedom, peace, and righteousness. Through the favor, may we meet at last before the throne in heaven. We praise thy great name forever and ever. Amen. It is said that this poem was spoken by an angel. Weep not for me, now that I have passed. Remember the laughter, the affection, the joy, not just the recent tears. Cherish the memories, our hopes, and dreams. Hold fast to the love that we shared. Be happy with the time we spent together and be in a new. For I am not really born, I am closer than ever before. As the morning sun rises and throughout the busy day, I am with you. Until the setting sun disappears on the horizon, and we watch the day turn into night, I am here. You may feel a faint breeze stir around your head while you slumber, as I just kiss your forehead to the night. The stars that shine so brightly in my heavenly sky help me watch over you and keep you from harm. I am the wind and the trees and the song of a bird. 
I am moonbeams in the midnight sky and a glorious rainbow after the storm. I am morning, morning dew and a fresh, freshly fallen snow. I am a butterfly flying overhead and a puppy happily at play. I am a smile on a stranger's face, a gentle touch, a warm embrace. Listen to the wind for my message of love. Watch the sun rise and set in the sky with me. Feel my essence encircle you with warm memories. Open your heart to know I am not gone. Reach deep into your soul. You will find me. I am here. Have no fear. I am with you always. What is America to me? A name, a map, or a flag I see. A certain word, democracy. What is America to me? I live in Plot of Earth Street The grocer and the butcher And the people that I meet The children and the playground The faces that I see 